Hi and welcome to Mr. Herbert's science class. I'm Dave Herbert and today I'm going to show you how to change the transmission pan gasket and fluid on a Ford Windstar, a 1996 Ford Windstar. Make sure when you jack it up you put a jack stand under here too also in case the jack fails and also pull the handle out of the jack so you don't trip over it. This is a front wheel drive transmission. There is no drain, so you have to loosen up all of these screws. The reason I started this project is because it was dripping a tiny bit, and I got under here and tightened these screws, and now it's leaking a lot. So I obviously over torqued something, um, so we're going to take the pan off. That's the only way to get the fluid out. Right now we're letting it run out of here. This is the new gasket. It looks like it's made out of rubber, neoprene. You do not want to use any kind of silicone or anything on this because it could seep in and get into the transmission. Okay, I've got the car tilted up only on one side. You sure would think they'd put a drain plug in here. But the oil is just coming down everywhere. We have to stop for a second because we have to eliminate a pest right on that yellow handle. The dead one. There's no doubt that this is a messy operation. So we have one more screw to go. Okay, there's only two more screws here, so I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these screws. One there, and I think there's one over here. And that should be the whole pan, which is going to be full of fluid, I'm afraid. Oh no, there must be another screw. There it is. All the screws are out. Here we go. Oh, lots of fluid. I'm going to try and lift this out. Straight across. And straight down on my plastic bag. Okay, okay. there's what the inside looks like. This is the filter right here. And I may have to change that, but I want to look inside the pan. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can the oil out of this. Well, let's see. <laughs> Well, I had fears of this thing being full of crap, but it's really not. I'm amazed. No, this is probably from using AMS oil. So let's get this old gasket off and a new one on. Oh, I see what's wrong here. Somebody did put sealant on here. And it says specifically to not use any sealant on this gasket. I'm still working on getting the sealant off. I haven't started but I did clean out the inside of the pan and I ran all across quite a few pieces of this silicone rubber which is like uh, rubber so whoever put this on there they're not supposed to do that. It's just uh, off. This is really bad for the tranny. You should never never do that. Okay I've wiped everything clean as a whistle all the way around and the filter looks good. It specifically says not to use any kind of this silicone stuff on this gasket. You just don't do it with a rubber gasket. I'm using a nylon scraper because I don't want to scrape. The only thing you should scrape this with is this little nylon piece of plastic for your fingernails. You see, one of the problems is if you're going to put the sealant, you got to put it all the way around the holes. And if you look at this, it's only in between the holes. 
So whoever did this didn't do a very good job at all, even putting the sealant on. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Before you put this back together, you've got to make sure this is absolutely clean. And make sure your magnet is clean. This magnet just simply sits down here in the corner. Like that. And that's it. Well, I'm going to start with plan A, and that is to lay the gasket on top as close as I can and line up the holes and start at one side to the other. So let's see what happens. Okay, I put the pan up on here. I'm going to round by one by one and make sure that each screw gets put in the hole through the gasket. Okay, I'm tightening up each screw by hand all the way around. I made sure the gasket is in all the way around and now I'm going to torque it down. The biggest thing you got to remember about this is you don't want to tighten this too tight or it will leak. So I'm down here, definitely a low altitude, tightening the last of the screws up in here by hand. So the way I'm going to torque it down, I've set my drill to the lowest setting here. So that should be tight enough. Let's give it a try. I've uh, turned my drill to number two and we're going to tighten them all up at that rate now. Now I'm going around and testing all of the final screws with the wrench, I'm just turning them one eighth of a turn just to snug them up. Let's put in the uh, automatic transmission fluid. And um, I've always had AMS oil in this. Okay, five more quarts and we'll see what we got. Go ahead and check it now with the engine running and in neutral. See what we got. Well, I'm looking all over and it looks good. Not a drop. Thank you. Okay, make sure you look over and make sure there's no tools under here. And that's it, folks, from Mr. Herbert Science Class.